Hi, and welcome to my blind playthrough of Fire Emblem Fates Revelation, played with only Corrin. And this is Chapter 12, Frozen Sea. Phew, we just arrived in time to catch the fairies. Big brother. Corin, you should rest while you have the opportunity to do so. Sorry, sorry about my voice, it's just... My chest is pretty bad because of hay fever. I'm actually doing fine, but sorry about that. I'll do my best, okay? It feels like we've been fighting constantly. Yes. You're right, I'll make sure to take a nap soon. Thanks, Sakura. Um, Lord Corrin, the captain says everything is going well. We should reach the port tomorrow. I see. I see. Thanks, Felicia. Does the sky look darker to you? Yikes, and the boat is starting to rock more than normal. Yes. Yes, it looks like a storm is brewing. We should get below deck before the rain picks up. Uh. Wah! Uh, Jeez, what was that? A boat just lurched to a halt. Well. Did we run into something? We better take a look. Huh. What in the world is going on? The sea! The entire sea has been frozen solid! Ah. How, how can this be? It's like a dead winter out here. Lord Corrin, do you see that out there? Someone's coming this way. Oh, wait, Lady Camilla? Ah, oh, Lord Corrin, I'm glad to see you are unharmed. Ever since your dreadful confrontation with Xander, I wanted to see you. Camilla. You're Corrin, so you're still you're still you're still still as cute as ever. But you don't have to stop thinking of me as your sister. Don't think of me that way. It will be easier for both of us to get both of us to fight it if we don't cling to sentimentality. Huh? Sister, don't you see I'm trying to do something good for both kingdoms? I hear your words, but Father has demanded me to put you to death. Corrin, I love you so much, from the very bottom of my heart. That doesn't mean I could disobey direct orders from Father. It's a tragic to end things, but since you betrayed Nor, I have no choice. No. You're wrong, Camilla. I haven't betrayed anyone or anyone else. I haven't betrayed you or anyone else. <sighs> Laura, would you be so kind? Yes. Yes, milady. Ugh. Lord Corrin, I care greatly for you back at the castle, no holding but I will show you no mercy, nor I will allow you to harm, allow any harm to come to Lady Camilla. Huh? Flora, what are you doing? Stop this right now! Did he really come here to kill us? To kill your own sister? Don't tell me you're the one responsible for freezing the ocean! Felicia. I am. King Garen has commanded that the Ice Tribe eliminate Corrin. And we will. If we don't, then the entire tribe will be sentenced to death. Why? Horrible enough to threaten our village, but forcing siblings to fight as well? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Felicia. Felicia, is it? Felicia. Felicia. I can't listen to anything you say. I love you. For the good of the ice tribe, I must chill my heart to do what is commanded. Flora, Flora don't do this. <sighs> it's no use, Felicia. We're going to have to fight back against them, or we're done for. Corrin, I love you too much to let you go like this. Even though I can do for you, even though all though all I can do for you now is to end your life with my own hands. Come to me, Corrin. Let me hear your last words. I'll remember them forever, my beloved little brother. All right, so we're up against Camilla, who. Me and my older sister, I brought up a few times before. She's the one who likes Doki Doki Literature Club. I used to joke about a lot when I started my YouTube channel. Not sure about nowadays, but oh well. But on a more serious note, I'm going to try and get a good... Okay, so... Corrin starts out on this boat. And from what I gather, you can jump off these other boats with the other units. But since it's Corrin only, I'm going to have to, you know, start off here. I can see her retainer's broker. And where's her other one? 
There we go, Selena. There, there she is. I'm going to try and take them both out. Just for EXP, but for the moment I don't see anything interesting here. Sea floor. Well, I can go down here, I think. Uh, I see... I also just realized... I see dark mages, which is... Dark mages, which is very bad. There's one there. One there. One there. Sorcerers as well. That's also bad. Bad for Corrin. That, 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 that. Uh, who else? No, I think it's everyone. Oh, got him. As I said before, I'm sorry about my block nose. It's just my hay fever is actually getting worse. To the point that I've got a bad chest. So I do sincerely apologize for all the sniffing and the sounding like I've got a cold. I haven't got a cold. It's just hay fever. It's just getting really bad now. So, yeah. Aside from that, um, there's not much else to see here. I don't think there's any chests here. No. Got Camilla's over there. I don't see anything with note. Nope. And I think Corrin's got everything he needs to optimize. I think he's going to need the... Um, how about Vulnerary? Why not? I'll have, I'll have this one. Thank you. And I think that's everything. So, yeah, might as well get started then. Yep, save and get started. Why not? I mean, why not? Listen, Listen Corrin. The enemy can use the frozen sea to reach us. We can't reach the ice. But I think we can use dragon fangs on the ocean floor. We just need to wait until the currents aren't obstructing, aren't aren't obstructing them. Be patient. So there are dragon fangs. That's what I was looking out for. Where are they? Where are they? I don't see them. I don't see the dragon fangs. Where are they? I don't see them. I'm trying to look for them. I can't find them. What I'm looking out for is these little golden um, puddles or something, whatever you want to call them. Those are dragon veins, little puddles. And they're like this yellow gold color. So, yeah. Sorry. I'm also trying to mark these guys while I'm at it. Go about that. Can I get off the boat? Where am I? There we go. Can I go off the boat like so? Can I get off like here? Yeah, I can. Okay, so I can get off the boat anyway. I just thought. You need dragon veins to do that, but I don't think so. I'm gonna try and no, you do. How is that guy able to get on board? Who gives. So they can get on board, but I can't. Okay, cool. I won't surrender. I love that he kicks them now because he's a swords master. I love that. That swords masters, sword masters kick their opponents. Oh, really? That guy can still reach me? Really? Oh, he doesn't deal that much damage. Don't worry about it. I thought he'd deal like 11, not only 6. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I think it's those stat boosters from that chapter. Um, mutual enemy. That's what it was called. So I guess I'll just beat him up then. Alright, yeah, sorry for the lack of commentary because I was actually grabbing myself a tissue because my nose is still blocked, so yeah, sorry about that. There's not much else to say here. I think Corrin's at that point now. I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. At that point where everything just becomes it. easy and these battle animations become a chore, I'm going to turn them off. I made a chore to watch. All right. Oh wait, that guy got on board? Oh, done it, really? That's just annoying. It's not a big deal, it's just a bit annoying because I have to watch another an animation. That's all, really. You know what, the Berserker deals more damage than the, um, that dark mage with fire, by the way. That just shows how strong he's becoming, which is good. And that was a lot of EXP, by the way. That went up really quickly. What, was, what, what level is he at? I didn't check before I started. Right, reinforcements. Right. Um, options. Your turn. There we go. 
He's at level three, so he's got two more levels until he learns Astro, I believe. So where are the Dragon Fanes? Hello, I'm Lady Camille's retainer, Baruka. I am here to sink this boat and kill its passengers and eliminate Corrin. Well, I'm Corrin. Who gives? Knock it off. Tss. I failed. Retreating. Well, good. Alright, so... Am I meant to wait here? I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. I'm nervous I might have softlocked now. I genuinely have no idea where I'm meant to go. I guess I'll just wait here then, because I don't want to get hit by the... Dark mages just yet. Yeah, those two are pairing up. Okay. I'm gonna try and take out the dark mages now. Hopefully. Oh wait, I think the currents have slowed. Oh, there's the dragon veins. I'm sorry, they're not gold. They're blue. But they're gold. We should be able to use the dragon veins on the ocean floor now. Okay, so that's what I meant to do. Just sort of wait, I guess. I'm gonna take out uh, this guy with the steel sword because he has better defense and better attack by one point, which is good. This ends now. <laughs> nice job, Corin. It's over. All right, he's gonna level up now. Watch. There we go. All right, he's at level four now. You'll be all right. Okay. Hasn't learned anything. Okay, that's to be expected. I think it's at level five he learns Astro, which is the reason why I make such a big deal of it. Like, well, when's he gonna level up? When he's gonna reach level five? Right. I just need to take out these guys so I can get the dragon veins. Because this guy's blocking the way, which is very annoying. Oh, well. Yep, and then he's gone. Guess I did it right. It's funny, because I always thought that that voice is Knuckles the Echidna. I don't think it is, but I have no idea. I know the voice actor for Knuckles has done these games, but I don't know if that's precisely him. It looks, it sounds almost exactly how he sounds. I know the voice actor changed since Sonic Heroes, which is another game I've done, which I still plan to continue. It's just I put it on a, a bit of a hiatus, but yeah. I still find that pretty funny if that is true. But I'm not 100% sure on that. that. Those two were pairing up like... One was on the boat and the other one wasn't. Look kind of funny, not gonna lie. Alright, can I get to the Dragon Fane now? I'm gonna take out this guy. He's been a real pain. A real pest. Also note that I'm now outside of the boat in the animation, which I find funny. Yep, 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 yep. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hey, fever. Right, come on, get to the dragon vein, please. I'm got all day. And also, I'm got all the time in the world either, technically, because I think YouTube videos must be under 12 hours long, so better pick up the pace car, and it only takes like a thousand tons to get there. <laughs> come on. I'm only on turn 9, so I've still got a bit of a way to go. That'll quickly rack up, trust me. So all the XP, even though he's only increasing by one point per every kill, save for the very strong characters like that Berserker, I think he's going to level up. Maybe in this chapter, if not the next. Maybe in the next chapter. I'm not sure if this chapter... Maybe it might be this chapter. I don't know. Guess we'll see. Right, thank you. I'd like to get on the next boat. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. I find it unfair of how the enemies, enemy units can climb onto the boats, but your units can't. Like, Corrin can't do that. I bet a flying unit could, but I don't know if you get flying, flying units just yet. I can't remember now. I don't think so. Looking at my roster. So, yeah. Very annoying that. All right. I bet through DLC you could get flying units like the what was its name again? Dark Falcon. 
I don't think it's a DLC thing. I think it's just from beating... No, I think that's a DLC thing. You need to beat um, Royal Royale to unlock that. So I guess you could get a flying unit that early. I should try and do that one day. Maybe one day. I don't know when exactly. Anyway, I'm going to try and get to Selena. Where's she attacked from? I'm going to wait here and attack this guy. I think he drops a lot of EXP. I hope so. The last Berserker did, but it's hard to tell because he's got a hand axe, which does not deal as much damage. And it has, well, zero hit because its accuracy isn't that great. Or hit rate, sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, he's gone all the way over there now. I don't know where he's gone. I don't know where he's going. I do want to get to Baruka, though. Not Baruka, I've taken her out. Selena, sorry. I'm sorry about that. My mistake. Yeah, I'd like to get to her, please. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, he's just retreating now. Hard to heal up with um, Flora over there. Alright, I want to get to her now. Yep, Steel Sword, let's go. I'm Selena, one of Lady Camille's retainers. I can tell you my military... Uh, I can tell that m milady's unhappy with, the, with this mission. Sorry, I can tell my milady's unhappy with this mission. But orders are orders. I faithfully carry out whatever my lady commands. So please, either die or get out of, get out of my way. Alright, let's see what happens. Uh-huh. Yeah, not looking so good. How? No one told me you were this strong. I'm sorry, Lady Camilla. I need to fall back. Yeah, I'm very strong indeed. Thank you very much. Right. Funny, just now, I had two dogs aggressively barking outside. That's how boring these solar rockets can get. Even just, like, a dog aggressively barking outside is more fun than this. But... There is a payoff, don't worry. Is the fact you can't have the good stuff without the bad stuff. That's what Pokemon Platinum taught me. So yeah. It might seem a bit dull at the moment. But hopefully it'll pick up towards the end. If not later on during these playthroughs. But at the moment it's just like, yep. Same old, same old. That's why I comp contemplated making a edited video. Is because, you know... It's just like, there's not really much else to say for like 20 minutes. It's just like, you kill this guy and that guy attacks and you might kill them. So, maybe that's the reason why in Fire Emblem Engage they had that like breaking mechanic. Try and discourage that behavior and like, yeah, try and force the player to get good, you know what I mean? That's my only guess of why they introduced that mechanic. Because, yeah, you can just do this in quite a lot of the games, by the way. So yeah, I do plan to pick up Engage again. It is the fact I b felt very demotiv demotivated since I went on my hiatus. Something I don't want to talk about. The thing I do want to talk about is that... Yeah, this just goes on. That's the only thing I can really say. But I think if I can use a Dragon Vein up on the northern ship from when I from where I started, I think I could make some progress. I'm not too sure. Right, I don't even care at this point, just, yep. Lie down, dead. Yep. Cool. No, take up this guy, he might be a threat. Why not? Better to be safe- better to be safe than sorry. Even though he deals 7 damage, and he- and his hit is like 9. So yeah. Might as well the fact that, in that, um, chapter, I just remembered I dropped the speed wing, I think, by accident? Even though it's like, I don't think it would make that much of a difference either or. If your unit, its stat becomes so high, it becomes capped, so it's just like, it's probably going to become capped either or, so, whatever. Yep, cool. Yeah, I don't care, just get up to the northern point. Yep, I was right. That that berserker's being healed by Flora. 
I had a feeling that's the reason why he was retreating. No, might as well use it. Why not? Use the concoction. Why not? I'm, I don't really use it much. That I don't use it that very often, so I might as well use it now. Right, and Dragon Vein. Let's go. Right. Oh, that one's gone. There was another Dragon Vein, like, right here, and it's gone. Who gives? Oh, I guess you don't need it anymore. Right, we still need to get on that ship, by the ship, by the way. Right. Right, there we go. We can board this one, but not the other ones? Okay, a bit bizarre, but oh well. I'm gonna take out this outlaw. He's really annoying me. I won't surrender. <sighs> right. Oh no, that's Camilla. Oh, did he seek me out? I'm so glad he's still alive. My dear brother, leave it to me to kill you. I'll always remember these final moments together. And she missed. That's pretty embarrassing. What's her hit rate? Oh, I see now. She, her hit rate is in fact zero. So I'm gonna try and try and finish her off. Got pretty good defense. Not gonna lie. I could try the killing edge. I'm trying to think what the best thing to do is here. 14. So that'll be 28. That's not enough. I don't have to risk all with the killing edge because that's the highest crit rate. Because if you land a crit, that'll deal 33 damage. So that's more than enough to kill it in one strike. So I'm going to vouch for that. And I hope it works. Please. Crit. That's not a critical hit. And I'm not going to complain because that was enough to kill it anyway. <laughs> okay, that's a crit though. I dealt 44. I thought it was 33. Sorry. My bad. Father, I I'm sorry I... Big EXP from a character with big boobies. Thank you. I won't surrender. Ah. Okay, cool. No need to show off Corrin. Sorry. Right. 58. We're getting close. We're get I'm getting close. Don't worry about it. Gonna become a user of Astra in no time, and that's gonna make things a lot easier, trust me. If he can activate that, that's gonna make things, yeah, a bit easier. I'm gonna try and see what's on this ship. I don't see, is anything new? Is there anything new here? I don't think so. Can I go? No, I can't go to that one. Alright, I'm gonna have to hope that. Things pan out the way I want, because I'm being very nervous with the amount of sorcerers on this one right here. Their attacks are 20, so that means they deal... Wait, his resistance is 15? I wonder why he's... those dark mages don't deal that much damage. Oh well, might as well go ahead anyway. I'm super... I was super nervous from that mutual enemies chapter. That they'll deal quite a lot, but no they don't. Are they gonna approach? Ladies first, as they say. Okay, I guess so. Alright, so that was five damage. I'm gonna try and retreat a little bit further back and use a vulnerary. I'm still a bit nervous, even though they deal five damage. Try and take them out one at a time. The hit rate is 35%, so that's <coughs> technically not good, in my opinion, but I'm not gonna take any risks, I'm sorry. I know I was just mocking them for their low attack output, but that's mainly because of the fact that I was fully expecting them to deal like 12 to Corrin. But no, 5's just like nothing in comparison. If it's one at a time, then that's fine, but if I just ram him in here like a bull in a china shop, then maybe Corrin might not have a good time. So I'm not going to risk it. Right. Try and retreat a little bit back so I can hopefully pick that sorcerer off. 
Right, he deals seven. Okay, 22, that makes sense. He has thunder, by the way. Interesting. I won't surrender. <laughs> nice. It's over. And he's leveled up. Nice, he's level five now. That means... <coughs> he's learned Astra. Yep, I'm correct. So it was in this chapter. Good thing. Thunder, which I don't really need at the moment. Trust me. Yeah, miss. There we go. It's a shame it did play the animation. But you saw it in action, though. That's something. So yeah, that's the reason why I want Astra so much. It deals... It makes the user hit five times at half the attack output. So that's very useful, that. Right. Try and take out this guy as well. Right, he's healing up again with Flora. I'm hoping that I can try and bait one of these guys out. Right. So this tile is a bad idea, because that guy can reach here as well. So I'm going to go with this tile over here. One below the... Where... I don't know my ship anatomy. I think that's where they raise the sail. Whatever that thing's called. I don't know what it's called. Looks like a pole. Yep, these two attacking. Alright, time to retreat. I'm not taking any risks. Because last time I did that, I threw completely. That uh, wasn't even funny. Like, I completely threw when I sort of went charging on ahead. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. You won't stop me. Guess I did it right. Right, that was not big EXP, but that was a, a, a good amount. Alright, this guy's got e big EXP right here. Watch this. Koran can take him out. He's gonna get a lot of EXP from this. I make my own fate. All right. Yeah, oh. Maybe he doesn't get as much as I hoped. I'm sorry. Master Seal. Might e need that later. Alright, I'm gonna try and take out Flora. If I might take her out last. Wait, do I? Defeat the boss. No. Who's the boss? Is she the boss? Because if she is, I'm going to take her out last. But I really need this EXP badly. I need to make the most of it. I do plan on doing some DLC chapters in this playthrough, but not all of them. Only the necessary ones, and not the EXP farming one. I'm definitely not doing that, unless I really need to. Guess I, did it right. I think it was called Boo Camp, that one. So I'm not doing that chapter at all. Unless if it's absolutely necessary, which I don't think it is at the moment. Corrin's just sweeping the competition. See, he's already at level 6. Yes. He's just eff effortless effort effortlessly got to level 6. Alright, how's he doing for HP? Pretty good. So we've got one more sorcerer left, and then it's up to then it's down to taking out Flora, and that should be the chapter done. He only deals three, by the way, which I find interesting. This ends now. And there we go, that's Astra in action. Hell yeah, dude. Cool animation, not gonna lie. What's also cool is if I could finish this chapter. It's been about like half an hour now. And I think I'm actually gonna do it for once, so this video won't be like an entire hour long. Thank goodness. Right, and... Yep, we need to get to Flora, and I think that's that done. I don't see any other interesting item drops. Aside from what those dudes had. And there's not seen any chests either, so yeah, just head straight to floor, I guess. Right. What's she got in store? A steel dagger that deals four damage and has a 43% hit rate. Well, Coronel over here has a 
Steel Sword, which follows up, has a 96% hit rate and a 30% crit. So I guess I'll go with that then. <laughs> I can't afford to show you mercy. My tribe needs me to, ho to hold nothing back. Are you prepared to die? I'll freeze you all. Okay, who's gonna win? I bet Corrin's gonna win. Amazing, he won again. Even though you didn't see an action though, which was a bit of a shame, but oh well. How could I let this happen? I'm sorry. Big EX, no, he didn't level up, no. He's only two experience away from leveling up, darn it. Ugh. You've won, Corrin. Now kill me. Camilla. What are you talking about? Wait, Lady Camilla, are you giving up? You admit defeat too early. We can retreat and try again. No, no you know as well as you know as well as I I that death awaits those who fail my father. We'll be executed for your return home. I die at Corrin's hands to have the last thing to see last thing I see is his face. Please, Corrin. Camilla, are you sure about this? Are you willing to surrender your life to me? I am. Go on, dear brother. I won't beg for mercy. Alright. In that case, Camilla, you're coming with us. You can't be serious. I are you mine, Corrin? They just tried to kill you. How would you invite them to join? Takumi, I know how you feel about Nor, but you can't believe that I would kill my sister. Even though she fought against us, it was only because King Garon demanded it. Now she is safe from him. Remember... Our real enemy isn't a part of Hoshido or Nor. Mm -hmm. Our real enemy? I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. I can't talk about it here. I wish I could, but it's impossible right now. I want you to believe me. We're fighting to bring an end to this war. There has to be a path we can follow that doesn't destroy Nor or Hoshido. We c we'll find it together. <laughs> Whoa! Lord Corrin, did your sword glow just now? I remember this look. The same look you gave me when you made up your mind. I always remember that strong, determined look. Alright, I believe you. I'll fight for you. I don't know what's going on, but at least a big sister could do is believe in her little brother. Thank you, Thank you Camilla. What a pain. Well, that settles that. That means we're going to, Baruka. Hmm. Where? Huh? What do you mean, where? We're going to join Lord Corrin's army with Lady Camilla. If a league goes somewhere, their retainers go too, obviously. I see. I understood. I've got you so you can count on us, Lord Corrin. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Hey. What about you, Flora? Will you come with us too? No. No, I can't abandon the Ice Tribe. There are too many of them still in danger. Including my father. I cannot go with you. Huh? Won't it be dangerous for you to return home? It's alright. Don't worry, before we set out, I told them to go into going to hiding away, just in case. I'm going to meet up with them, and then we'll continue to lay low and avoid Nor. I'm putting my faith in you, Lord Corrin. My tribe will be able to return home if the he term, if you, the hero, put an end to this fighting. Well, hero? I see. Yes, a moment ago, I saw you- I saw your sword glow. I'm sure it must be the sword spoken of old legends from my tribe. <gasps> You've heard something about this weapon? It looks very much the sword described in some ancient ice tribe story. A shining sword. The one that wields. The one that wields is supposed to save the world. Which wouldn't make you the hero, wouldn't it, Lord Corrin? <laughs> I think call me a hero is a bit of an exaggeration. But the legendary blade. But my having it could be just coincidence. Is that so? All the same, I'm, I'll still believe in you. Even though I'm not coming along. I believe- I choose to believe that you're our hero, my lord. Laura. Um, we should get going. Oh. oh, wait. I remember something I should ask you. Do you know anything about dragons? Mm -hmm. Dragons? Yeah. The Archduke of Izumo said an old god sent him a message from us. A message about dragons. If you know anything about them, please tell me. Even though it's just something from a legend, like the one you mentioned before. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything. 
We've been gone for so long that we don't have tales of dragons in the ice tribe. I'm sorry I couldn't be more. I'm sorry I couldn't be more. I'm sorry I couldn't be more of assistance. No. No, it's fine. Thanks, Flora. I promise you'll be careful out there. Yes. I will. Until you meet again, everyone. Flora and the others, Flora and the other ice tribe fighters have left. Hopefully, they'll get the rest of the ice of the tribe and find a safe place away from King Garon. Not to worry. Don't worry. They're very skilled at manipulating ice. I'm sure they can build themselves a good hiding place or two as they go. This is when he built a large snow fort to hide in. Oh wow, <laughs> that really digs up old memories. I remember listening to everyone panic. I was thinking as everyone panic, trying to figure out where I've gotten to. You know, Camilla, I'm glad we're together again. I miss talking to you. Oh, my. Aww, I was just thinking the same thing. It's like a dream. I think Flora had it right when she said you're a legendary hero. After all, you saved me back there. Huh? Are, you saving, are you saying you believe in that legend she mentioned? No. No, that's not what I meant. I believe in you, Corrin, and whatever you, it is you set out to do, if anyone could bring an end to this war, it'll be you. Camilla. I can't imagine the others would trust me yet, though. Do you know if it's Hoshiden tradition to listen to other conversation listen in on the conversation of others? <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, I was just <clears throat> My I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry. Well Sakura, Takumi, even you, Azura? <gasps> Hold on, you're Azura? The same Azura that was kidnapped? Huh? You remember me? Yes. Of course I do. I saw you many times in the castle. And if I remember correctly, the Nori nobility used to treat you horribly. Huh? They did? Why? <sighs> Azura's mother, Queen Aret, was father's second wife. However, there were many nobility who supported Queen Katari Katarina. My mother was such one person. She constantly told me not to talk to Azura. Of course, Xander, being Queen of Katarina's child, to was told the same thing. Later, Leo was born. He was also kept away from her. We were dutiful children, so we obeyed. But always, I wish we could spend time with you, like real siblings. We never forgot about you. You're our adorable sister, after all. Hmm. Thank you for saying that, Camilla. Hey now. Azura, you shouldn't trust her so easily. Even though you're siblings, you can't be certain of her motives. Oh, my. oh Takami. True. No, she's right. Oh, he's right. You have every reason to be wary of me. We were just fighting a moment ago, after all. But you don't need to worry. From this point forward, I will do nothing that would upset Corrin. Though, if Corrin asks, I wouldn't object taking one of two. I wouldn't. I wouldn't object taking one of two. One or two of you out. <gasps> Camilla. <laughs> I'm only kidding. No more dark humor. No, and I'll keep things light. I promise I won't betray you. I'll risk my life fighting for you all. Yes. It's sure. Truly. Of course, Camilla. <sighs> I'll be honest, I still don't trust you. But I'll work for you. Maybe over time, we can build that trust, Princess Camilla. Thank you. Thank you. I'd love nothing more. Everyone. Thank you, everyone. I dreamed that I'll be able to bring my siblings from both kingdoms together. We've still got a long way to go. But, step, but each step we take fills me more with hope. Look, the ice is already starting to melt. Let's get this boat moving. Onward to Chev! So that was chapter 12, Frozen Sea. First time, by the way. Isn't that a miracle? I don't remember the last time I did it first time, even though I went on a massive hiatus around when I started Fire Emblem Engaged. So, it might have been before, but... Oh, well. First time, I'm actually getting good at this game, and Corrin's getting good as well, which is more important. So this next chapter shouldn't be that big of a deal. Well, I don't know what it's about. It could be a super gimmicky chapter. It could be just a bog standard chapter lifted from like Birthright of Conquest. Who knows? All I know for a fact is that I do apologize for having a blocked nose and blocked chest. It's just the hay fever that I have is just really nasty. It's some on some days it's good. On today, it's been particularly bad to a point that I just have a bad chest, like I have a cold or something. But don't worry, I don't. I'm 100% okay. 
it's just when I was doing this, I just have a bit of <coughs> a bit of a bad chest. So the commentary has been bad, like it always has been. I do apologize. It's not like it's been any better off the past like two days. I uh, two years either. Past two years never been good, so see you in chapter thirteen, which is which is hopefully gonna be a good chapter. I don't know what's called, but I guess see you then.